Am I the asshole for yelling at my parents that their polyamory fucked up my childhood? Edit. To all of you who demed me to tell me about how fucking great polyamory is and that you're mad I gave it a bad name, you have issues if that's what you take away from this post. I believe it started when I was around 6 years old. My parents often had friends over in the house. I didn't know they were polyamorous OFC. One day I was outside playing, got hurt and when I ran inside caught my parents making out with some random guy. They told me they have other adults that they love and it's a completely normal thing. Me being a child just accepted that. They gave up being secretive and their partners would constantly be around, even joining on outings. I remember that on my 10th birthday they invited three of their partners, one of who I'd never seen before, and for the rest of the day my parents just withdrew from my party and hung out with them. I never saw them doing anything explicit again but they would kiss their partners, hug them make flirty comments, something that would be normal between parents but with many more people. Sometimes I came home from school and my parents were gone and there was some random adult in our house, some of them seemed surprised that my parents even had a child. I always hated it, but since my parents had told me this was normal, I assumed many adults probably did similar things and that it's just an adult thing all kids hate. Later they had less partners and eventually seemed to stop. Not that I'd know for sure because I moved out with 17. I didn't think about it anymore. A year ago I started therapy, other reasons. As usual the topic of my upbringing came up and it brought back many feelings I wasn't aware of. I realized that although my parents were always good to me, I had never really felt close to any of them and still have a lot of resentment that they made me feel like I had to compete for my parents' attention with random strangers. A while ago, I visited them and they told me they are going to take part in a documentary about polyamorous families and that the producers would like to include interviews with the children, so they would love if I could agree and tell everyone that polyamory doesn't mess kids up. All my resentment bubbled up and I said that I cannot agree because I would not be able to say anything positive. My parents looked shocked, I had never brought this up before, and asked why, and I unloaded all, that I always felt pushed aside. We barely had any family time without strangers intruding, it turned into an argument and I became loud and yelled that the truth is it did fuck me up and they shouldn't have had a child if their number one priority was fucking the whole world. My mother cried and my father said I should probably leave. So I left and was shaken up for the rest of the week but also felt regret because I've never made my mum cry before. Later my father sent me a message that was like, we are sorry you feel that way, can we have a calm discussion about this soon? Even though I tried to, it's like I can't reply, this argument brought something very emotional up in me. Am I the asshole for hurting my parents over this, especially since I have never brought it up before? Not the asshole, do not back down and allow them to get you to recant, op. Notice that they said, we're sorry you feel this way, not, we're sorry for doing xyz. They gave you a non-apology. For making your childhood basically a wallflower to an orgy, no less. Edit, this blew up like coke and mentos, thank you kind strangers. Not the asshole. it wasn't your parents' polyamory that fcked you up, though it was their bad parenting. They allowed strange adults around you all the time and neglected you when those strangers were around. They put you in potentially dangerous situations by doing so. Having a committed poly partner who is not a stranger and known to you prob would have been fine but a string of randoms or new people that would seriously mess with any kid. Not the asshole, really. They would leave complete strangers in the house without them for you to come home to. They made their sex lives front and center and their priority. Any child would resent that. Not the asshole. Upside, your parents seem to be whole through obliviousness and neglect and might be open to apologizing and trying to fix what they can. Maybe message your dad that you are not in a place to talk at the moment and will get back to them, then talk to your therapist and develop a timeline for when and how you can talk. As to not bringing it up before, parents do not get the luxury of assuming everything is okay because the kid never complained. Parents have to ask, they have to check, and they have to find ways of communicating if the kid can't talk to them. Your parents screwed up, kids cannot be expected to know something is wrong or know how to communicate it. Not the asshole. And be careful that this wanting a nice calm chat isn't just your parents getting you in their house then trying to bully you into taking part in their documentary. They were totally neglectful people who deserve all you anger. Not the asshole. Polly did not mess you up. Their way of Polly messed you up. I have seen this go good and bad from friends.
Try to speak with your parents. If they don't know how hard it hit you, they cannot try to make amends. Not the asshole the fact that you could come home and find random people there is concerning. What if the person was dangerous? Not the asshole your feelings are so real and valid. They were so wrapped up in their own lives they couldn't see what they were doing to you. You saying it to them may have made them realize they had neglected you. Not the asshole. Not sure why everyone is tripping over themselves to say they're pro-poly and it was just that your parents that did it wrong. Seems invalidating. You're not obligated to like the lifestyle if you had a bad experience. Not the asshole, at all. I had a friend whose parents did this. There was three of them though and we all lived in an estate and a lot of the parents were involved. I didn't realize the full extent of everything until my parents told me when we were older. I always wondered why those kids were so unusual and seemed older or the badass. It 100% damages kids I've seen it myself. The parents who partook the kids weren't super bad but the parents' house it was held in were messed up from it. It fucks with your perceptions and exposes you to things you shouldn't know about. There's no way you would be the asshole here. Not the asshole. You were caught off guard by them asking you to be in a documentary they were going to be in, to back them up on something which you simply couldn't do. Well done for giving them the wake-up call that was a long time coming. I like your dad reached out to you, but, we're sorry you feel that way, isn't an apology. Good luck. Not the asshole. It's unfortunate that you never felt comfortable to express this before but your feelings are valid. I hope you are all able to have that calm discussion in the future and that your relationship improves by being more open and honest. Edited to add. I think polyamorous relationships can be great for some people, but they did not handle it well or take care of your mental well-being throughout theirs. Not the asshole people do t like to admit but it does mess up kids and you're living proof of it. Kinda selfish of them wanting you to feel like everything was normal when it wasn't. Then crying and being hurt shouldn't phase you since you were never number one priority to them. This is something they have to cope with just how you did for 17 years of your life let it cool down don't apologize just to make them feel better. The whole leaving you with strangers is just messed up that could have led to abuse since it was so easy to. Polyamorous person for over a decade here, and not the asshole at all. Maybe see if you can find out who's producing the show and give an honest interview, if you want. Polyamory isn't an excuse for ignoring your kids, and that deserves to be a part of the narrative too. I know committed poly parents with cherished children, and your life was not it. I'm sorry. Childhood emotional neglect is a real thing. Jesus Christ I don't even know what to say. Underscore definitely underscore not the asshole. What trashy fucking people. Polyamory was a big ass mistake. Not the asshole. At all. The number one priority of parents should be their children's well-being. They failed you in that regard and you were honest about it. I would have participated in the documentary and told the truth. Not the asshole. Their polyamory isn't what fucked you up. What fucked you up was their incredibly awful boundaries between their sex life and their child's safety. They put you in some pretty awful situations by leaving strangers in the house for you to come back to. Not the asshole, I'm sorry you feel that way, is a non-apology. They just want to not feel like shitty parents. If you're moved out, you don't owe them a talk or a part in a documentary, but if you feel like you want to get some more things off your chest, talk to them. Don't let them invalidate your feelings. Don't let them try to tell you things about your childhood in a positive way if it wasn't so. And most of all, don't give in to their demands about the documentary, because even if you come out of a talk feeling good about the future of your relationship, it doesn't change the fact that your childhood was affected negatively by their actions and behavior. Not the asshole. They don't get to decide how you feel. They can have all the reasons and excuses in the world, but that doesn't make one jot of difference to what's already happened. A. Not the asshole. I don't think the issue was the polyamory more that they didn't make you feel like a priority and we're having casual partners in and out of your life every five seconds. That said they didn't know you felt that way so I can't judge whether they'd have changed their behavior if they'd know how it affected you. I think you should have that conversation but maybe speak to your therapist first. Not the asshole. Get therapy and work through this because your parents don't understand their part in this and won't support you. Not the asshole. 
They deserve that. Your anger is totally valid. Don't let them minimize it. They're for sure practicing unethical non-monogamy. No two ways about it. I hope if they are in the DACO the people present them as an example of what not to do. I'm so so sorry you had to live with such people as your parents. Not the asshole, it's not something you had a say so in growing up, you should have never felt that like you had to compete for your parents' attention because they were selfish enough to have their sexual life on display in front of their child. Also hella rude of them to automatically insinuate that, it doesn't fuck kids up. Continue going to therapy. Not the asshole Christ, poly people cannot just let this person work through their trauma without proselytizing. Not the asshole. And you aren't required to have brought it up before, but bringing it up now. Not the asshole. And honestly, I don't buy the calm discussion that was offered. I think they're gonna play the victim card and have you do the documentary. Tell them you already expressed your feelings and wish not to continue. Don't reply if you don't want to. Ignore them if you want and continue therapy. You told them how you felt. They have to deal with it. Not the asshole. I feel the same about polyamorous partners as I do with monogamous partners. Unless you intend for them to stick around for the long haul, don't bring them around your goddamn kids. Not the asshole. That is not how polyamory with children works. Not the asshole. Did they ever ask you how you felt about it? This alternative lifestyle is their choice, not yours. So your feelings should have at least been considered and definitely discussed. I have a friend whose parents were poly and she has also just recently realized it may have fucked with her emotionally. She's especially noticing it in her own romantic relationships now. Not the asshole. Your parents just assumed that you'd accept and be okay with that type of setup. They didn't even explain to you well what a polyamory is. They should have at least hid it for a while until you were old enough to understand. It was just rude of them to do that explicitly in your face. They should have given you a healthy discussion about their relationship and ask your take on it, and not just do it because they want to. Not the asshole. That is not how polyamory is supposed to be done with kids involved. My husband and I are poly and we never bring partners around our kids and we make sure anyone either of us may date knows up front that our home life comes first. Should something get serious and long term a partner may be introduced slowly over time, but not at family birthday parties or outings. Ugh. I am so sorry they did all of that to you. I'm not sold that any poly relationship is healthy for kids to be around. But your parents' poly is especially bad. They openly had multiple partners from a young age and ignored you at times you needed to be reassured. They also never asked how you felt or had open conversations about your feelings. This is a big warning call to parents. Nobody is perfect. But you cannot just assume your kids are okay without asking and talking to them regularly. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. While I'm raising my kid to know her parents are polyamorous, she gets to choose whether or not she's around people. Partners or not, my kid comes first. My husband has dated a couple of people that she just did not like, feel comfortable around. So those people did not come to our home unless kid wasn't there. They didn't get invited to group outings. Kid comes first. My other partner, however, is family. Kid L O O O O O V E S him. He's around frequently. She also really liked an ex of my husband's, so ex will still come visit occasionally, pre pandemic. There are healthy ways to do it, but your parents didn't do it in a safe and healthy way for you. I'm sorry that they can't see that. I hope therapy is able to help you heal and get to a better place. Your parents sound like selfish R's. Not the asshole. I hate the line, sorry you feel that way. It shows no accountability on their end. What they should be saying is, we're sorry we made you feel that way. Dot. They're pushing the blame on you for how you feel instead of blaming themselves for not putting you first. Not cool. Seems to me that you have an issue with the neglect not the polyamory. Not the asshole. You did the right thing. It was like a weight on your shoulders and you had to unload it. They are shocked because they didn't care about how you feel when you was a child, they were too focused on, fucking the whole world. Polly is gross. You don't need to accept or like it. Not the asshole. The pendulum has swung too far and it's nasty but you won't hear it on Reddit. You might want to post this on our, bad parents are, raised by narcissists and are, just no family. They'd fit perfectly on on three of those.
I'm honestly so proud of you for beginning to process this odd childhood and now express your unhappiness to your parents. Not the asshole, sounds like you were raised by narcissists. I never considered how polyamorous relationships could affect a child of the couple because, well, doesn't seem like you could hold multiple relationships while keeping your child your number one priority. They were selfish and I am sorry you felt pushed aside all your life. Do not be in that stupid dock unless you want to tell your truth about it messing you up. I hope therapy continues to help you less than three. Not the asshole your parents were shocked but it seems they want to listen when they have calmed down. Not the asshole. It sounds like your awareness of how difficult and bad for you it was has become really intense and visceral and you're working through it in therapy. You deserve to take as long as you need to work through it and decide when, if ever, you want to discuss it with your parents. There's no timer on being ready to address it, and they're not entitled to set that agenda, this is adult you working through stuff from your childhood that's a direct consequence of their relationship choices. That they are hurt by your autonomy and that it's news to them that their choices were damaging is unfortunate. Not the asshole I have some poly people in my life although I'm not poly myself, and I can tell you that for a lot of poly people, being poly is almost their whole world, life and identity. Their activities revolve around being poly, their conversations always steer to poly, you have to say no more than once to their requests to join in. It stands to reason that op was shunted aside for the lifestyle. You didn't even get an apology. You got, sorry you feel that way. Take part in a doco about being poly and tell your actual side of the story so that maybe other people won't mess up their kids. Edited to add they told you to say that it doesn't mess kids up, not to tell people your side of what it's like. So to some degree they absolutely knew that it wasn't an idyllic lifestyle for you. You're not the asshole, but I'll note that your parents would likely have been this entitled and jerkish even if they were monogamous, say, if they divorced and had a constantly rotating cast of characters for their SOs. I'm sorry your parents were jerks about it. Any chance you could change your mind about the documentary, though, and just speak your truth to them. Well-meaning, new poly people could use your parents as an object lesson in what not to do. Not the asshole and polyamory is disgusting. They didn't even apologize and left you alone with strangers. Don't back down. Honestly Op, if you want to speak your truth and go on the documentary to explain how their polyamory negatively affected your life, you should. They brought up the documentary to you to try and sway the narrative about polyamory, but maybe as an adult and a child in a polygamous family you could explain the trauma and resentment involved. Major not the asshole here though, they seem to be trying to manipulate you and you don't deserve that. Not the asshole and you're right, that's not the kind of lifestyle to have when you're raising a child. Not the asshole if your parents don't spend time with their only child as they're growing up, sounds like they don't care about anything other than fucking the whole world. Good for them, but they shouldn't have had a child if they couldn't take care of you. Not the asshole do not apologize for speaking the truth. They prioritize their sex life over their own child. Not the asshole and make sure to include everything you've suffered in that documentary. Not to mention that your parents haven't even apologized because they've said, sorry you feel that way, basically saying you made yourself feel bad and it makes them not accept any responsibility. They messed your childhood up alongside your ideas of a normal household. Neglecting your kids to have an orgy with random people over years isn't normal or even healthy. The issue here isn't that they slept around, the issue here is that they offered no stable upbringing and consistently neglected you in favor of their partners. And later, refused to accept any responsibility. Op this is so disgusting and I'm sorry you had to go through this. This is obviously bad parenting and endangering a child as they are complete strangers coming to your home on a consistent basis. I'm surprised nothing else happened to Op. I would definitely not back down on what you said and if anything let them know more of how they messed you up this is terrible parenting at its finest.